hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to be filming and to have you here again um it's really exciting my last video was a long time ago um here let me move you up let me move you really quick so we're in my kitchen i'm super excited um the lighting where i'll be working today is not great so i just thought i'd come over here and say hi um <clears throat> yeah so it's been a long time especially because like my last video was like I'm feeling really great well then I didn't so I just took a step back entirely from everything um and it was worth it it's been several months but um made a lot of progress have a bit of a messy kitchen but I'm working on that today and actually something I wanted to work on with you today is the fact that I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of dishes now <clears throat> first of all to overcome hoarding, you do not need to become a minimalist. Like, let's just start off with that. Secondly, there's a difference between modern minimal minimalism and traditional minimalism. And I do think that traditional minimalism has <laughs> minimalism has a lot to offer a hoarder because the focus is a lot more on stopping overconsumption. And overconsumption is really how you get into the mess for a lot of people um, for whatever reason why you're consuming. So anyways, but for me, this is coming from a place of a desire I want. Um, I just kind of want to do this. I also feel like I tend to lean into my own vices. Um, if I have a ton of dishes, I'll just use them all until I'm out of dishes and then I wash the dishes. So I'm kind of like, well, you know what? Worked really hard. I'm not conquering that. So I'm going to need to change some behavior or change my environment to help me conquer the behavior. So what I'm doing is I'm going to reduce the amount of dishes so that I run out of dishes faster and I don't, I literally have a set of 16. I'm going to keep about four, I'm pretty sure. So, um, and they're beautiful dishes. I really love them, but like, I don't need 16. I'm not in that place in my life anymore. And it's just a vice. So, and then thirdly, it's just a personal calling on my life. Again, whether you are here and you are a Christian like me, you are of a religious affiliation or you're of secular beliefs or you, you know, whatever it is that you are, you have a calling on your life. For me, I find that calling obviously through a different path than other people, but I just very much feel called to have less and I'm starting to understand where my life is heading and for a long time I didn't and that 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 gave a lot of anxiety to what I should throw away and what I shouldn't because I'm like I don't really know who I am. I'm starting to figure that out. So anyways, let's get going. Back to the bad lighting. That's super exciting. Here's my hand. You always Sorry guys. Great filming by Christina. Um oh yeah, and then I had to like prop you up a little bit. I mean, you're a bit tilted. No. I guess that's fine. We'll leave you there. So, what are we doing today? Well, over here in this cabinet, which um, I guess you can't see, darn it. Over here in this cabinet, we have things I actually really like. So, I mean, this is a gift from my niece that I got for Christmas. But see here, I have like a set of dishes and um, it's only for two. There's a big serving platter um, two, three plates, smaller serving platter, smaller plate, and two, two bowls, which has been fine for the type of meals I serve on them. Over here, I have another type of serving where, again, I have three large serving platters, four plates. This is more of the china that was my great grandmother's, which I'm going to keep because it's very special. But like, I love that. I, I love that. And it's not 16 pieces and the world does not end. So that's what I'm working on today is the fact that um, I really don't need all these dishes to enjoy them or to like, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, let me grab my uh, step stool. I know. More unprepared content for you. 
Also, no makeup today, per the norm, if you're new to the channel. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of people might think it's a bit unpresented to not have makeup on, but for me, it's not that I don't care about you. Um, always choose health over social ideals or pressure. So for me, no makeup today, except for lip oil. And this is what's best for my acne. Also, just shaved my armpits, so no deodorant. I personally like to leave them alone after they've been shaved because they're quite sensitive and they suck up a lot. Maybe that's a myth. I don't care. Um, I don't shave much. There's a video on that. Again, that's a priority of my health, but I have a special occasion coming up and I feel like other people don't want my hairy armpits in their photos. Um, but yeah, that's today's update. Also, have chopped off my hair. Good decision, less migraines. But, okay, so on we go to the dishes. So what we have up here, da 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 da, dishes. So many more dishes than you could ever possibly need or want. Um, we also have more dirty dishes. See, this is why, because like, I'm just this way. Um, so I have this lovely yellow china, which I always wanted as a kid. I always wanted to inherit it. I really wanted it, but, and I did, <laughs> but there's like 13 dinner plates <laughs> and I don't need 13 dinner plates. This white set here is from Crate and Barrel. It's really nice china. Again, 16 place settings, which I don't need. So I'm thinking, now I'm gonna wash everything and like put it through a vinegar wash before I donate it and make sure everything is really clean and all that kind of stuff. But for today, I'm gonna pull out the excess and see how my cabinets look and really just like let myself feel the emotions of having less and see how I feel about this idea. It's okay, you don't have to take the dishes and chuck them in the trash or take them to the um, the Goodwill or whatever, wherever it is near. I don't go to Goodwill, I go to um, the local shop. But it's okay to like give yourself a little tester. It's really fine. So, like if I were to keep four, and the thing is that like, you know, I'm giving you all these. The thing is that like, it's really sad because I want 16 of these little blades. I really do. Which maybe I'll keep all the little plates. I love the little plates. I love them. They're lightweight. They're the perfect size for my meals. I use these so much. What I don't use is these guys. I also use these guys a lot. Um, don't use these. So maybe I'll just be getting rid of dinner plates and bowls, which most people would be satisfied with. Most people use a big dinner plate and use their nice china um, for family meals, but I don't got none of those, so, you know. Uh, also, if you feel like I'm acting a bit differently on this channel than I used to, um, that's just me. I just really started to feel more like me again, and I really just, my personality's coming out, so, <laughs> you get to enjoy that. All right. So like, I'm even starting to be like, what would, oh, here, you can see four. And I'm like, what would two even look like? Do I even need four? Like literally, and I didn't think I'd feel that way. <laughs> um, oh my God, I don't know. Why do I want less? Let's see what two looks like. What's wrong with me? I really do. It's so sad. But you know what? 
when I donate these, no one's going to want, um, no one's going to want odd numbers like I do. So this way there's 12 left. So I could get rid of a whole set of 12 or I could do three sets of four or, you know, a set of eight and a set of four. So I'll keep four. Plus then like if I do have like people over for dinner, there are enough plates. I usually have three people for dinner. It's really funny. So there's only three people ever. It's usually like a friend in there. Husband. Hashtag single. All right. Oh God, now my butt's on camera. Hi. All right, now I'm gonna go for the yellow china. Oh my God, whatever. Um, and I really like the yellow china, but it's out of reach because I owned too much china. So what should we do about that? I feel like, oh wait, come here, hold on. Hold on, I have an idea. So I'm gonna get down this china. I wish you could see more. Cause I feel like all you're looking at is my butt and you're not able to see anything, which isn't fun. Let's see if this is a better spot for you. <laughs> uh -huh. But then how to get you to like stand up is the next question. It's the next question. Next question entirely. <sighs> no. Stop it. Okay. Are you slowly falling? No, you're not. Yes. All right. Here we go. Now you don't have to look up. You still have to look at the back of my head, but at least you don't have to look at my butt anymore. So. In fact, maybe I'll move over. Ta -da, ta -da. So, now we have, I'm pulling down these little glasses. Like, I really love these bowls. I love the bowls. Love them. Love it. Love the bowls. But what, like, what are these? Like, I love these. I love little nibbly bits. Like, this is perfect for, like, a certain, like, some crackers or something or some fruit. Perfect. So what I don't need a million of are these. And I love them. They're super cute. But I have eight of them. Do I need eight? I mean, maybe I need eight. I don't know. I'm thinking not. I <laughs> this isn't as going well as I thought it was. All right, then we have these little bowls, which are like super cute. Love these. And in fact, they come with little lids. <laughs> All right, little lids, look at that. See, a little lid. Done. Um, okay. So. Recording the phone. Oh, there. Come out here. Come here. Oh. Okay. This is all part of the process. And this is why I'm like not editing it and showing it to you is that if you do this in your own home, I don't want you to think that it's like straightforward, bam, 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 decision and it goes well and it goes great and you don't pause. Like that's not true at all. You're going to stop and you're going to pause. You're going to get confused. You're going to get emotional. It's all going to happen. Okay. But see, for example, I have six teacups and eight saucers, some of which are broken. Two, three, four, five, six, oh, shipped. Legit, completely broken. Of 
course I intended to, you know, fix it or something. Six. So I might keep the seventh one because clearly I break them. But because it and it does have a chip, but I'll have the really nice six ones on top. And we'll use those. Or maybe we'll like put the chip one on top. I don't know. Do you use the chip one first? And then if you drop that one, then you have six good ones? I don't know. We'll just. All right. Now the dinner plates. See, I really, I really do enjoy um, coffee and like coffee dates and like teacups. So I really enjoy that. And I use them. So that's why I'm keeping them. These guys, I feel like I really just need four of. No, no, I've run out of room. No! Okay, let's. This is a dangerous idea. Don't do this at home. Actually, do do this at home. You know what I mean. Don't break your dishes in the process of like reducing them. That's just, just a terrible idea. <laughs> Make sure you don't break your dishes. Ugh. Cool. So now I have four of them. I feel like that's a really nice number. Four is a good number. And I love like, my little nibbly dishes. And I love bowls and I love these and I love, like I love them. I'm not a big fan of plates. I'm just discovering this about myself. I don't like plates. That's weird. Who doesn't like plates? Oh my God, what's wrong with me? Um, yeah. Who doesn't like plates? What's wrong with me? <laughs> it's okay, be you. You know what, if you don't like plates, like, good for you. Don't use them. You know what I mean? Like. It's okay to not like plates. Which is probably the most profound thing you're going to hear all day on YouTube. It's okay to not like plates. So what if it looked like... So now I'm going to do the like, what would my cabinet look like with less junk thing. Yeah, okay. So, cool. All right. Da, 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 da. Ah. <sighs> All right, so I'm actually feeling super good. Back here. This one. There. I'm actually feeling really super great about this. Cool. So, all right, guys. many nibbly bit plates? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, we're going to keep four. Of course, I'm going to run these all through the dishwasher again or hand wash them and make sure that they're all clean and happy and sanitary. I'll pick the best ones to keep for myself. I always go back and forth with, should I keep five of a set because I'm a clumsy person and I move a lot? Let me bring it back down. And I move a lot and like, I drop things and um, things break during moves. But, you know what, you're crooked. Deal with it. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, you know, if I keep five, then I have a spare, but yeah, I don't really, I don't really think I need a spare. Um, oh, but no, cause like then I, that was it. Then I only have three to give away, which isn't fair to give away three. Um, I could probably
probably keep one, two, three, four. I could probably keep five plates and have a spare. But I don't know. Things like white china isn't a big deal. Things like my parents' china, big deal. Because um if it breaks, I can't get more of it. So that's the only like difficult part I'm feeling with. But yeah, I'm feeling really good about it. I'm feeling really good about it. And maybe I'll get rid of more bowls. Maybe I don't need that many bowls. I probably don't need that many bowls. Do I? Probably not. Anyways, I'm getting rid of all those guys. I'll probably get rid of more bowls. This video is 21 minutes long. And yeah, I hope it helps you. I hope it encourages you. I hope it shows you that sometimes we go from a 16 piece set part of life to being a four piece set of life and that's okay. Usually it's the other way around. Usually people start with four and move to 16. Things get bigger, but sometimes things get smaller. Sometimes family gets smaller. So anyways, I will catch you all later. And I'm so, oh my God, the light. I'm so excited to be filming again. I am on Instagram, so you can find me on Instagram. I will put my link in the bottom below, but it is Christina Ordinaire with the E. So anyways, I will catch you all later and I post lots of stuff about hoarding and mental health on there. So check me out. Bye!